Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I'm back here today to make a very quick and easy birthday card with um, quick and easy options that you would find at a craft store or even at, this came from the Dollar Tree and this is from Michael's. It says happy birthday and just other bits and pieces. There's not a lot of money in this card. So it's definitely, these are inexpensive options. I'm also using, for the first time ever, I've never used Recollections paper, so I'm using this Recollections Dreamy cardstock. It's a 65 pound cardstock blue for um, what am I layering, uh, uh, you know, on top. What am I trying to say? I always get terrible and tongue tied when I get on the video. I'm sorry. And then I'm also using this 100 pound um, or, or 110 pound cardstock for the base of the card. I um, haven't done a lot of work with the heavier cardstock. So I'm really um, wanting to play with the um, Recollections version and then um, because I have some from uh, Stamp It Up as well. So, alright, so let's get started. Um, I picked these colors out for the person that, that it is their birthday card. So I am cutting this card in a very odd shape because I'm not going to be putting it in an envelope. But you can easily make an envelope. I have an envelope uh, punch board from Stamp It Up, so you can definitely make your own envelopes. And I discovered earlier that this is a very odd cutter. It doesn't go all the way up. So I'm having to trim that. But that's all right. And then I'm going to cut it at... So I was cutting that at 4 inches. And this one I'm going to cut at 8. So let me see here. I was trying to slide it down. And I think I still can. And keep it somewhere around 8. I think, I think, I think. Oh, you know what I can do? I can totally use my mat. And that would help. So let me get that right there. That helps. And I can do that. And then, mm-hmm. So we know it's eight and a half. This is eight and a half by eleven. So I can use this isn't the most scientific way to do this, but it'll work. So alright, perfect. Easy peasy. Now let me find, um, just in case I don't have that center just right, I'm going to bend right there and then come back in with my, um, yeah, I think you can see that. Come back in right here and line it up for the scoring portion of this particular cutter. So here it goes. Let's hope it works. Okay, perfect. Doggone. We'd plan that it wouldn't have been any better, right? <laughs> so, all right, so we know right now it's definitely um, four, yep, by four. Perfect. So we want to come in with this one, and it needs to be, um, and this particular trimmer is one I take when I travel. Um, I don't use it a whole lot, and, um, you know, definitely has its kinks. So, um, and I definitely got it at, as y'all are going to ask, I got it at um, Tuesday morning. I'm going to turn it this way so I can see it just a little bit better. So, I'm wanting it to be, if it's four, I want to take it to three and a half. So, perfect. I'll do that. And then I'll trim the rest. Really, that is a really bad design. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> so, all right. And... We want to take it to three and a half. So, hmm. Let me see here. I think if I measure it just like that, I can see it. Perfect. Okay. And three and a half. So I'm measuring off this lower mat. I know. It's weird. But anyways, we do what we have to do, right? Perfect. Let me see. Oh, isn't that cute? That is so cute. Okay. All right, so we can put that little thing away, and I will save that for another day. And I just realized that, well, happy day might work. That's what I'm going to do. I'll use happy day. Love. Super cute. Super, super cute. But I think I'm going to do happy day right there. I think that's cute. All right, so these came from the Dollar Tree. They were a dollar. Aren't these cute? I mean, seriously, there are resources everywhere, no doubt. So don't worry if you don't think you have enough money for this, that, and the other. That's okay. I mean, Amazon, this I bought on Amazon. This is the world's 
least expensive card and, um, and and I'm trying to do some options like this I mean pretty soon I'm gonna be in all my Stampin' Up stuff and there are still inexpensive options with Stampin' Up um, definitely you just have to go to the sales section and or do the bundles so or like right now there's um, there's been a sale for August and uh, or for July if you bought X amount in August or in July you get a uh, um, you know, however much, a $5, $10, whatever off in August. So, I mean, there's options out there. Just keep your eyes open. You can find them. So, anyways, this is a no stamp card, too, because I know some of you um, don't have a lot of tools. It, you know, some of you don't stamp. And so I'm trying to give you other options on card making. Um, and again, I bought this huge foam roll on uh, Amazon. So, yes, there are very affordable resources and tools out there. Um, so I don't want you to ever get discouraged that you can't be creative because you don't have a lot of the, the materials or the tools. There are still things that, whoops, that did kind of tear a little bit. Hold on, guys. It's on the inside. It's okay. We can fix it. All right, we can do that. I just wanted to scoot it over just a wee bit. All right, okay, guys, so here we go. That part's done, and that is going to be what I put on my card base. Super cute, and I have all these gorgeous butterflies and bling. So this should be a fun, fun card. Look, I kind of got that overlapped, and I don't like doing that. So hold on, let me trim that up just a wee bit. That is very sticky foam tape. So if you're looking for something that's sticky, that is definitely sticky. Let me see. Yep, see, that'll even stick there. I didn't even think that would stick, but yeah. Oh yeah, it's sticky. But, okay, well, sorry. No fingernails makes it a problem. Sorry, guys. Let me see. I might have to get, um, like a knife to pull this up. There we go. We got it. We've got it. Okay. And then just a little bit more here. And here. And then in the center. Super, super cute. Um, very inexpensive. This particular foam roll, I, it was it was definitely the least, you know, expensive of what I was looking at. So, I've always used the 3M. I'm trying something new and different, so that's okay. Um, so, let's see here. I'm going to make sure I get this centered. Actually, I'm going to go from this side. Yeah. So, those of you who've watched any of my videos here lately, we had a bit of an emergency this morning, and everything is better. So, thank you guys, all of y'all who are um, saying prayers with me for this family member. I so appreciate each one of you. Okay, super, super cute. Love that. You do not know how much y'all mean to me. Thank you so much. So we'll save these for another card. And let's go. Let's bling it up. So the first thing I want to do is pick my happy birthday. And it's got to be pink. It's got to be pink with this pretty gold behind it. And that goes on top here because I wanted to have lots and lots of bling. And these are all um, from Michael's Recollect. I think this is the Recollection brand. It says Craft Smart, so maybe it's not. Maybe you guys could let me know. But um, it is really pretty, and I picked this because I thought she would enjoy it. And it would be just something to brighten her day. I love that. I'll put that there. And one of these here. So let's see here. That is pink. That is really pink. <laughs> Which is good. <laughs> Alright. I think she will enjoy that. My girls all love pink. My daughter-in-law doesn't. So, but she would like the blue. So, but this is for one of my girls. Who is definitely a pink. She's a pink girl. <laughs> so, anyways. She's a sweetie. An absolute sweetie. I really wanted some of that. Hmm, I wonder if I could just cut some of that off. I do like that. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna 
We could just do that one now. Mm -hmm. I see the one I want. So these, when they come in one piece, if you really want to get your money's worth, look at what you can do. You can just cut off what you want to use and leave the rest. So I love that. I love doing something different. <laughs> different than what they planned. So let's see here. I want it to be like that, darling. Absolutely darling. Super cute. Super cute. Okay. So let's see here. Now I want to get my butterflies out. And I love these. You can take your um, your markers or even spritz with your um, any of your sprays or whatever you like. Um, you definitely don't have to use it. Just plain white. I'm going to because we already have a lot of uh, stuff going on here. And, uh, and I'm going to put polka dotted butterflies here. So I'm going to do that. And then put one of these white ones on. Oh, and they have little pearls on them. They're so cute. Right there, there was a break. So I kind of want to do that. And I want some of the dark pink. Because this is just too cute. And this light pink or mauvey pink. They come with their own dimensional um, tape on the back. You could add more if you wanted to, you know, pop it up even more. But super, super cute. Isn't that darling? That is just so, oops, you know what? It is so easy. That's what I was getting ready to say. It is so easy. I'll put that there. Since that white, this is a light pink next to that white. It looks really really light so super super cute um, I am going to I don't like that one there so let me scooch that down a little bit more that I like a little better so really cute this paper is really um, nice to work with it doesn't tear when you pull things up not very badly you know that foam tape was something else so all right so let's find happy day and put that on the inside. Let me get the centers out of those letters. If you notice, I'm just using my finger to let it stick to it and then pull it out. But you have to be careful. You don't want it to rip. I have one more. Okay, right there in the Y. Let's see. That one's going to be the stinky one. All right, let me see. I've got a pencil I'll poke it out with. Perfect. Got it. Easy peasy. All right. So, happy day. Turn it this way so I can see it a little bit better. Super cute. How easy is that? The Dollar Tree is really coming out with some cute stuff. I love that now. I wanted to do some washi. Forgot my washi. I think I'm going to lift this one up. Just dawned on me when I saw the inside of that. I'm going to take my washi across the bottom. Yep. Okay. And this is definitely washi from Michael's. So, Michael's Recollection brand. Super cute. Oops. And I cut that wrong. Sorry, guys. We will cut again. <laughs> not straight either. Hold on, let me straighten that up. Okay. Let's see if we go from here to here. And this time I shall do it correctly with a pencil. And I can cut it correctly. Alright. Measure. Was it measured twice? Cut once? I think I cut twice, measured once. Learned my lesson. <laughs> let me straighten that one just a little bit crooked. Okay. But I'm not a big fan of the peel and stick washi, but I seem to be buying more and more of it lately. And I don't know if it's just they're coming out with more or if I happen to like the designs more. And I think it's probably the latter. So, yes, that is super cute. Love that. Let's put our little butterfly back. Darling. 
absolutely darling. Isn't that cute? I mean, easy peasy. Lots of bling, lots of prettiness. I'm mean, happy, and I'm going to come across the bottom of this with that same washi. And this time, I'm not even going to, I'm just going to peel and stick, and then I'll cut. I had to measure the other one because it was up. It was, you know, I had put it up on Pop Dots, or the um, foam tape, I should say. But it was fine. We got it figured out. So, all right. There is this. Okay. And this time, I'm not going to worry if it's over. I will trim it off. Isn't that cute? Super cute. All right. Yes, it's so nice when things come together and it comes together the way you kind of hoped it would in your mind, you know? Sometimes it doesn't work that way. <laughs> Sometimes you have the idea and then, then you do it and you're like, oh, I didn't like that. So, super cute. Okay, so now all we have to do is put day and then done. All right. I do like that gold flower. But I probably will go back to one of the flowers that I already have. Yep, I know I am. Make sure I have, yep, I have one left. Perfect. One little pink flower left. Alright, let me get my pencil. Those little Y's don't like to come out easily. The little cutout section. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, so I'm going to put that like that. Let me get down just a wee bit more. Happy day. And then I'm going to take this little flower and put it right there. Super, super cute. Isn't that, that's going to be a card to put in one of the gift bags. So I'm going to do a series of cards for her, and this is one of the ones I'm going to put in her gift bag. Cute, cute, cute. All right, guys. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Everything was pre-done. The only thing you had to cut was the the um, the card base and then the, um, the card stock to go on top. Love it. So everything on this card is a recollections card, except for the foam, the um, foam tape, and this. This particular saying was from a uh, Dollar Tree. So cute, cute, cute. So I hope you guys like that. I enjoyed making it for you. And again, you don't have to have a lot of supplies to make a very sweet homespun, you know, card made with love. So, all right, guys, I hope you're having a great day. I hope your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or email me. If you, whoops, sorry. I don't know what happened there. Um, if you, uh, it was an earthquake, not really. Um, if you uh, would like to, you can also send me an email. My email is listed below. If you like this, this video and you want me to make more of them or things like this, um, inexpensive, fast and easy cards, please give this a thumbs up. I would really appreciate your feedback. And if you're not subscribed, please join in with us. We'd love to have you be a part of this group. It's a very encouraging and um, just a great group. So, all right, guys. Well, um, again, hope your day's blessed, creative, and lovely. And I thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'll be talking to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.